I'm going to just say this, y'all. I think being silent is a weakness. And unfortunately, the relatives I live with, they think the opposite about me. They think I talk too much. When really I don't talk too much, it's just that they don't want to hear what I have to say. They don't want to hear me speaking because I be spitting facts. And they don't like facts, which is actually the truth. They don't like to hear the truth. So let me give you an example of how not speaking up is a problem. Right now, currently, almost every person that comes in my parents' house, they slam the fuck out of the front door when they leave it. Now, since my father won't say nothing to him and my mother won't say nothing to him, this shit keeps happening. But if they spoke up like me, it wouldn't happen anymore. So that's why I say it's a weakness. On top of the fact that I protect people and to protect people, you have to speak up for the weak motherfucker that won't speak up for themselves. So if I see somebody bullying somebody, I'll straight up tell the bully Stop fucking with him. Don't say nothing to him. Treat him like Casper the ghost when you see him. And if you don't heed my words, I'm going to say something to you when you say something to him, nigga. So just one example of how I'm a protector. You can't be a protector if you don't speak up for the person that's getting bullied on that won't speak up for themselves. So back to the the door slamming shit. Now, when I had my own apartment, y'all, nobody slammed my fucking door. And if they would have, let's say how I would have handled that. So the person comes back over right after they didn't slam the fuck out of my door the last time they left. First thing I would say is like, hey, the last time you was over here, you slammed my door too aggressively. And they might be like, oh, man, I ain't even know. I I, want, I ain't mean to do that. Uh-huh. If you slam my fucking door again like that, you won't be able to walk through that door again. Just to let you know. Now, that's me saying it the nice way. Could I say it a little nicer? Could I say, hey. When you close my door, do not apply so much force (laughs) to closing my door because my whole apartment was shaking when you closed my door. I could say it that way, but I'm not. I'm going to say, don't fucking slam my door so aggressively because you have to say stuff a little forceful to get your point across is what people don't get. So all you soft spoken ass people, could you please not slam my door so hard? No, that shit don't work. Don't slam my fucking door so aggressively. That works way better. And that's where I'm at with it. And that's how I talk. And that's how a lot of people don't like the way I talk. Because that's how I'm going to say that shit. Why the fuck am I uh, sugarcoating it and pussyfooting around these grown ass people? Oh, you hurt my feelings when you said it that way. I don't give a fuck. Because don't come through this bitch if you don't know how to close the door regularly. Okay? Yeah. 